Hey all, this is Assistant Professor Kailesh Jaitwar and I am welcoming you all in this lecture. And this lecture will be on process, uh, uh, cost, process accounting and uh, the next concept will be ABC. So what, uh, so what will be this concept? Let's have a look. So uh, what is process costing? So we will be having theoretical uh, part of process uh, costing today. Okay. So process costing, uh, what is process costing actually? as its name indicating we will going to account we will going to have record of different types of process so what are this process and how we will going to deal this process so let's say we are the uh, let's say we are uh, a company which are which is uh, producing coconut oil okay so what can be the process to I have coconut oil so first of all in first process we'll be having coconut the raw material okay and that raw material will be in the first process we will going to uh, clean that raw uh, that uh, uh, that bushes of uh, coconut and then after we will after cleaning that in first process we can just crack it and we can send that uh, material for the process 2 and that process 2 will be just collection of the material from which we will be going to have our oil so second process will be on to collect this material and third process means extracting oil from that raw material okay so that is how we can have we can have the finished goods finished good here is like our coconut oil so coconut oil we can have by these three process, processes okay so in from uh, the first process till the last process we will going to uh, we will going to have a look how the inputs how the raw materials can be converted into finished goods so what is the theoretical portion of uh, process costing let's have a look on the whiteboard so first of all we will be dealing with the meaning so what is process costing so process costing is defined as a branch of this is a branch it is a branch of operation costing so what will be the operation costing that will be going uh, that we will be understanding in like next lecture because this is somewhat larger portion and that will be explained in very detail in upcoming lectures so this is the branch of operating co uh, oper operation costing and it determines it determines what determines it determines the cost of a product of at at each street okay so we will going to determine the cost of product at each stage each stage means this when we are given raw material inputs to process one process one will uh, uh, will push the uh, work in progress goods to process two and process two will uh, push the goods uh, push the wip towards uh, process three and then after process three will be giving us finished goods okay so finished goods can be given by process 3 so that is how you can have finished goods by these three processes okay so but here what we will going to have will be going to have the cost at each stage at each stage we, we can calculate the cost okay so that is how this is the meaning of process cost so actually what we are intended to provide what we are uh, what are the objectives uh, for the creation of process costing why we are creating this and what are the features of it so let's have a look so first of all this features this uh, this process costing will provide you division division of stages that means whole production can be divided can be diversified in different types of categories just like p1 p2 p3 that means process 1 process 2 and process 3 so whole process will be divided in some portions that portions will be divided in some stages and that stages will be known as process 1 process 2 process 3 and there might be uh, n number of process as required by the companies there might be one or two 
or there are the possibilities uh, by the uh, customization of particular organization so okay so this divide the stage of production so the production level can be bifurcated can be divided uh, through the divisions of the activities all activities can be divided with different types of uh, with, uh, with the different types of activities that is the primary feature of process costing the upcoming the coming uh, feature that one is provide standardized sequential process okay so if i am producing some kind of finished goods so that finished goods cannot be directly uh, sent to this process okay that good that raw material have to what i said have to be the part of p1 then after p2 and finally the, the part of p3 that raw these raw materials i mean means raw material cannot jump direct to t or or direct to p3 okay so that's why here uh, is written standardized sequential process that means you have to you know, the raw material has to follow the sequential process okay so uh, example if the example which we have taken in this same lecture that the uh, creation the manufacturing of the coconut oil so we cannot uh, extract coconut oil from the bushes uh, of uh, of the coconut so we have to first clean it out then after we have to take the uh, soft part of uh, coconut then after we can have uh, the third process so these all the things we have to do and we cannot jump to p3 so this is how the standardized process should be followed in sequential then after third here is output of one stage becomes the input of another very good why because if i am providing raw material to p1 so we have given raw material to p1 p1 has uh, processed it out and send it to p2 that means the closing of this the closing of this will become opening of this understood and the closing of this will become opening of this so that is how output of one stage output of one process can be the and one should be the should become the input of another input of p1 the closing uh, stop of p1 will become the part of p2 and closing uh, stop of p2 will become the part of p3 so that is how we have completed three features fourth feature is uh, provide uh, finished goods by giving input so giving input and what what we are talking about here we are talking about this raw material so raw material is called as production input and production because of the production input we can have these all the process okay and this raw material can only be possible to convert this raw material into finished goods only because of p1 p2 and p3 okay absence of any single you know, process can create difference in your finished goods okay so that is how uh, the it provide finished good what process accounts account provide finished goods but to whom to us by giving raw material first of all we will be giving raw material then after we can have the finished goods so that is how it can give you finished goods by giving your inputs by giving your raw material then after fifth one is help helps to track normal and abnormal losses if we are uh, calculating all the uh, activities of production and when we are uh, talking about the raw material so we cannot say if we are producing let's say from one uh, from uh, one quintal of uh, coconut we are producing 100 liters of oil so from one quintal we are producing 100 uh, liters of coconut oil so that time if we are uh, we are getting only 90 so the, the the difference between 100 and 90 the 10 the 10 liter will become our loss obviously so this can be tracked by p1 p2 and p3 okay so this so you can have uh, the uh, the clear picture of this you can have in the uh, the uh, the upcoming lecture okay so this is about the process costing the theoretical portion of process costing now we have the second topic and that one is very interesting 
and that one is just uh, like the same string and uh, st string aura it is carrying and that one is ABC so ABC means ABC means activity based costing okay this was one of the part of costing system and we, we are talking about the now second one and that one is activity based costing and activity based costing as it is name indicating it will be totally focused on the activities on the performance levels okay so perform performance levels can be measured can be valued by having activity based costing so what does it mean to us actually abc assigns cost what what uh, what is written here over here assigns cost to whom this uh, process cost may, uh, sorry the abc assigning the cost it is assigning cost to the activities very precisely they are they are, they are uh, talking that they will going to provide they will going to assign cost to the activities and not to the product in process costing we were calculating cost on the basis of the product okay but here in activity based costing we are not going to have calculation based on the products but yes we will be uh, focusing on the activities okay so activity based costing focuses on only activities and not on product they will going to assign, assign cost to activities not to the product okay so actually there are certain assumption on which abc is working so what is that assumption it assumes that that activities that are responsible for the in occurrence of cost and products create the demand for activities that means if you if you want to create some kind of difference between your product levels and your activities level so activities can be done by by uh, by having different process but if we are totally focusing on product only so that will be customized product we can have but here what concept is they talking uh, talking about they will going to cost the activity and not to the product at product can create more demand by giving that product a beautiful levels of performance beautiful level of uh, beautiful levels of activities so this is about the assumptions related to abc the objectives now what are the objectives on which abc is working so abc is certainly working to bring more accuracy in calculation of cost so they will going to calculate cost by the hands of activities and not with the hands of product okay so they can have the cost of any product by calculating activity and more importantly they will be very accurate as compared to process cost okay then after it helps to understand profitability based on production process what it what it, what it uh, is saying it, it will going to help you to understand profitability profitability okay based on production process so production process the profitability can be increased by using abc so if we are using abc at the best level so it can help us to achieve more profitability third point is to have a structured analysis in complex process so if we have complex processes and we are totally focusing on activities so that time the process can be easily analyzed and easily can be covered properly and we can create our product we can manufacture our product by good labor of activities okay that is how it is helpful to have a structured analysis of complex process the, the second last objective is to eliminate non value adding activities non value adding activities means the activities which will not going to uh, contribute to add some certain type of values into the activities or into the product so that type of activities can be eliminated by having analysis of that activities through the abc okay and this this is how abc can help you out to eliminate the non value uh, non value adding activities and because of this fourth point 
fifth one can be possible and that one is to increase value adding activities so we have first eliminated non value added activities and then after we can easily analyze what are the things which we should be adding so what we should add that types of things can be analyzed by uh, the manufacturers the, man, uh, the uh, factory owners so that they can clearly analyze the things which one uh, owner the factory manager should impose that kind of values into the products so these types of things can be possible by using EABC so in this lecture we had a discussion about the process costing and the ABC okay practical question will be given to you in next lecture so till then revise all the things because your exams are to just near so till then be safe and thank you